Hello and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. Or as we really like to call it, CB Cubed. That was different. It was a little different. I kind of loved it. But I'm so excited to be opening some cards with you today. We are officially for some patrons on pack number three of the season. So this is part one of two of the finale. That's right. Episode three of season two of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. CB Cubed. Roll the intro. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. As per always, we need to get started with our type advantage for the week. So we'll bring in our wheel of energy. Oh boy. All right, you might give it the, give it give the honors. Day? Oh, it's so satisfying. Eyeball energy. energy. Eyeball energy. Is today the deal? Oh, it's oh it is metal, which is a kind of a rare one to get because it's only on the board one time. And now we don't have a metal EV to move around, but we also don't have a pink energy. So I'm going to move the Sylveon. And now we need to choose this week's randomly chosen common chase cards. This week, they will be Phantom, Cedra and Love Disc. Woo! All right, if I remember correctly from the last couple of boxes that we've opened, the Love Disc is like exceedingly common. Yeah, it is really unfortunate that water didn't get the type advantage because uh, as you can see, water makes up two of the different chase cards you can get and the Love Disc in particular is pretty common. Yeah. So uh, lots of points on the table today. Shall we get to opening? Let's get to opening. We'll break this box. Momentous. Excited. I'm so excited. Thrilling. Is thrilling. Other words that mean anticipation. I always love shooting this show so much because it's just fun opening cards. I know that is the best part. It is the best part. I remember as as a kid, the smell of a freshly opened uh, card. There's nothing like it. It's like I'd buy a candle with freshly opened card smell. Like sort of like aluminum, light aluminum. <laughs> Ooh. Well, you made it out of frame. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. I'll put it into pro mode. Ha. Promo mode. Promo mode. Promo mode. Promo mode. And we're in. We're officially set up. There's a lot of things to do in order to get ready for this show. There sure is, including choosing all of uh, today's lovely patrons. Uh, very excited. We, since it's a brand new month, we have randomly randomized the order. So uh, if you are if you were in the first episode last month, doesn't mean you're gonna be in the first episode this month. But first on the docket today is Jupiter Fox. Jupiter Fox, here we go. Coming um, into round three with a solid eight points. All right, Jupiter, let's see what we can do for you here. Here is your pack. Opening, opening. Jupiter Fox is apparently a professional face painter. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. It is. I had to do face paint for my Thor costume last night, which is just two stripes right here, and they were not straight. So I messed up. Okay. And let's see. Can the we reveal. open? Oh, oh no. Mm -hmm. Didn't we have a new name for fighting energy? Like beat down energy or something, <laughs> something like, something like, like that. Like get a get a raucous pummeling. <laughs> a raucous pummeling energy card. <laughs> raucous pummeling. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Mm, not a lot of metal types. There's a horsey, not quite. Nothing. Ooh, oh, the trainer <laughs> gallery arcanine. Is there something else speaking back there? Let's uh, oh, oh, well, it is, a, it is a metal type, so it'd be at least a two-point Magirna there. Okay. The question is, how much is the Histuian Arcanine worth? Truly pretty card. I love the Trainer Gallery. Let's go on over to our score sheet here to see how many points we'll put up. That is going to be number TG08. 
which is a dollar seventy one. So that's a two point card plus the Magirna, which is two points, gonna get you four points on the day. There's my pen. That is going to land Jupiter at. 12 on the season. Where is 12 gonna land you in the grand scheme of things? Cause it feels very close to like the Big Steve. Now I gotta uh, tell you, Big Steve is sitting at 10 right now. So if Big Steve lands but a single point, then uh, there, Jupiter Fox is sitting in a really good spot to get the Big Steve box. To get that Big Steve award, that yeah. is correct. So in case you need a refresher, we have four different available re awards uh, for where you can place on the leaderboard. There's of course, first place, which is currently held by Abby Mondin, quality eighth place, which is gonna be held by Jordan. The Big Steve award is currently held by Beck Squad. And the last place is going to be currently held by Josh. Josh. Uh, well and to everyone. Obviously, all of those positions are subject to change throughout the game today. Yes, Abby Mondin is our leader though with 24 <laughs> points. So as we go, we'll see if anyone can claim the lead from her there or if she just extends it. Anyway, next up is Jordan D coming in with 15 points. So, uh, and well positioned to uh, mass Abby. Jordan is currently in the quality eighth place spot. Wow, okay, so, man, that, what a weird spot to be in, because in, in some ways you don't want to move, but in other ways you want to win big. I know, it's true, it's true. It's like you're in striking distance for first. All right, well, no type advantage for them here thus far. Oh, there is few metal types, although I see something sneaking out back there. Ooh, oh, it's, it's a, a V-Max. Character art Orbital V-Max. That is so awesome. I love Orbital. Man, we have not pulled that card in office. And the Macargo. So clearly the Macargo is just gonna get you the one single point. The big question is the Orbital. Let's see what we got here. That's gonna come in at 8.03. Oh, that is a nine point card plus an additional one for the mag cargo that is gonna bring them oh no that's a nine point card yeah nine point card plus, so plus the cargo is 10 which means they are in first place no way no! second back of the day that is so exciting now of course abby hasn't gone yet with her final pack and she will score at minimum one point, so looking at a draw right there. Oh my, that is unbelievable though. That is unbelievable because it's like, going from that quality eighth place spot, we even said it, we're like, it's like, oh man, like almost scoring will like take you out of it unless you go up to first. Which Jordan did! Which Jordan did! So well done, Jordan! Oh my gosh, Man, amazing. You love awesome to see card it. You love you. to see it. You do, wow. The competition is fierce today. Can Annika, coming in with 13 points, uh, put up some big numbers? herself. Let's see, let's see, okay. It does feel, the pack feels dense in my hand. Oh man. It feels dense, dense in my dense hand. Feeling. I know, I, I feel like from opening just thousands and thousands of packs, it's like, I can never tell if my hand scales are getting good or what's going on, but it feels heavy. It feels heavy, let's see, let's okay, see. Okay, so we got, we got a lightning energy on top, so nothing mm -hmm. there, a bomb of snow, damage pump. We haven't had a single chase card come through yet Not either. Not yet. Not the, yet. The blip oh, the Magirna again, so that's okay. a two point card. Okay. And, and, oh no! The Raichu. Just so, I was oh, absolutely good. incorrect. Absolutely, I thought it was dense. It wasn't dense enough with the Raichu. Still a very pretty card. And this pack is going to be headed your way. There you Annika. go. That means Annika is ending the season at 16 points, which you gotta think puts her in pretty good contention, either for a quality eighth place or big Steve. Although it's, you know, it's anyone's game. It is anyone's game. So we'll see what happens. Next up we have Jesse, who is uh, coming in at a solid two points. So this is only their second pack on the season because they joined mid season. Pretty amazing that you can come in with two points and still not even be in last place. Yeah, Jesse is very close there in 56th place at the moment. Right, yeah. Looking, yep. looking at the leaderboard there, but we'll see how they do, we'll see how they do. All right, are you ready? Boom, oh, still no type advantage yet today, but you know what's coming. You know it's coming. The electric, I'm feeling like maybe there's just not that many metal Pokemon. I know, I know, it's a shakeup, it's a shakeup. Uh oh, boy, boy, Jesse's really going. Oh! Cure of VMAX, wow, extremely competitive card. One of the best cards in the game right now. It is so good, just won a big tournament over in, um, on the Asian circuit, I think in Japan. 
Okay, so number 49, let's take a look to you to see how we're how we're looking. There we go. Well, your chances at a last place finish are basically gone. Yeah, there we go, because that is going to be a $9.94 car, rounding up to 10, 10 points. Oh my gosh, the Curum VMAX, that is The excellent. only scoring card in the pack in a full whopping 10 points. Inside of this game, that's a very impressive score. That's crazy. That is going to bring you to 12 points overall for the season. Jesse, thanks for playing. Enjoy your Curum. Go win a tournament. I'm trying not to feel too excited about it, but this has been like a hot box so Dude, far. Know, it's, been, it's, it's been front loaded really well. Next up, we have Simon Perchert coming in with seven points. This is their third pack of the season. All right, Simon, let's see what we can do for you. Crack this pack open. Crack the pack. I never know whether or not pulling hot cards makes me feel more likely to get them or less likely. I know, it's like now you've pulled the good ones, that's I know, it. I know. It's like they're already out on the field. Yet another leaf energy. Mm. Or grass energy. Grass. I like to call it leaf. I mean, it is a picture of a leaf. Is so. it okay if I call it leaf? It's okay. From henceforth, it's okay, as long as you don't read the comments. Okay, I don't. I won't do it. I won't do it. Okay. okay. Still not a single chase card. We were wrong about the love disc. Man. I know. I know. Okay, and and I do think there could be something. Oh, peeking we have there. something. Okay, and with the reveal. Oh, the Gudra V, also a very good card. Okay, let's take a look here. Only scoring card in the pack. We'll go to 135 on the set and see where that lands us. At 135, it is an 87 cent card, so oh, we'll round up no. to a single point on the pack, but it is a beautiful card headed your way. That is good. If you can, pair, if you can find the V-Star to go with it, Gudra is really good because every time it attacks, it means on its next turn, it takes 80 less damage. So you can um, just really build a big wall there of goo, and then it can also heal itself as well as part of its own ability. A wall of goo. A wall of goo, I literally. Like, I like it, I like it. Next up we have E.K. Sco. E.K. Sco, E.K. Sco, I can read it. The pronunciation guide is right here, and I'm it's, still messing it it's up. It's right there, yeah. Cat, cat in office wrote, like though. Like though. <laughs> so we've I'm got like, it there. I'm like, though, Sco. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about the goo. Thinking about had goo on the brain. That's okay. You know? That's okay. There are worse things to have on the brain than goo. There you go. All right, here we go. Can we get our first type advantage of the game with EK? Sco. No. Just a just a regular <laughs> raucous pummeling energy. <laughs> All right. Can we even get a chase card? No. No. It's not there. And oh, it's oh. just the dugong. Dugong is a hilarious card. It it can be good. It is like a, a very good budget deck kind of card, but that is going to be a single point for a good old EK there. And that's going to bring you to six on the season. Did you want to say EK skip again? I was like, <laughs> I, keep, I keep like forgetting the right way. <laughs> and now it's like, I'm like, I'm going to get it wrong. Don't get it wrong. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> We're moving on to Mask Maker coming in with six points. Now, Mask Maker has been really consistent this season. They've had three points in both of their last packs. Can they get it today? Because I feel like last last go around, I think we had a really good uh, type advantage per the set. So we were throwing up a lot of like really good points. Yeah. Today, we've had a, a bunch of uh, packs only scoring with a single card so far. So uh, we've also had some good pulls. Maybe we'll finally get our... First, our first common chase card. I know, but not I can't no even type, pull common cards. I know, no, no type advantage there. No type advantage. Let's see. Wonderful. The Murkrow, the Mawile, the Ducklet, Ducklet and, and ba -ba -ba the Greedy. Oh boy, Peter, I feeling like maybe we were a little uh, front heavy on this pack. That is a single point pack. Is that right? That is a single, a wow. single point a single pack. Single point pack for Mask Maker, but hey, you've got a lovely greedent coming your way. So that's seven points on the season, correct? That so is where right. where is seven points about gonna land you in the leaderboard? Seven as it points sits right, right now. now will land you anywhere from twenty seventh to thirty second. Okay, okay. Yeah, so right there, good good middle of the pack number there. All right, next up is C Mac. Uh, who I, ooh, it's a brand new patron. Okay, okay, yeah, and that is very should, exciting. We should we, give a shout out to all of our new patrons this episode because we are up to uh, 71? 71 patrons 71 total. 71 patrons, which means we are one person away from being able to do two full box episodes 
per per month, month. per month, which yeah. is really exciting. It so really thank exciting. you to everyone who has signed up and continued to uh, grow the show. We do have up to 144 slots available, which yes. would give you uh, one full box opened per week each month. So yes. that's what we're aiming that's for. That's what we're aiming for. Fire. We're also aiming for metal energy. We Can have yet to oh, see one. Oh, there's our siege. Our, yes. And that's the uncommon one. All right, Thornton, never heard of him. There we go. We haven't pulled a single metal card either. I'm like, are there just not metal? There might not on? be any metal metals in, in this. this. Oh, uh, as I said, as there, there is, is this, the, the stun fist. Oh, is and, this, and, and the Pidgeot. Pidgeot. Oh man, so I don't think the Pidgeot is gonna be worth a whole heck of a lot, but we'll double check it for we'll, you. We'll check it, we'll Otherwise, check it. I'm thinking it looks like a three point pack. Let's see, it's gonna come in at what, 38 cents there for the Pidgeot. Yeah. Beautiful card, beautiful card, but rounds up to one point. So three points on the pack. There you Not go. bad given the, the today's type advantage and the randomly chosen common chase card. Well, it's exciting too that for their first, they only got one pack this season, but it happened to be a V card. It is really so cool. That, that is, is very cool. exciting. Well done, C-Mac. Welcome to the game. Next up is Brant. Brant Glasson. Now Brant's coming in with six points. This is their third pack of the season. So they got a full season under their belt here. got a full season. Feels like the, the further you get, the greater the odds are in your favor. Right? I mean, you just have more bites at the apple, which is always helpful. More bites at the apple. That didn't work for me at Vegas last weekend. Not one bit. Yeah, how'd that go? Not well. Not, not well. well. Yeah, the odds were not in my favor. That's oh, how, eyeball that's energy. How little, eyeball energy. Yeah, the it's odds hilarious. are never in your favor in Vegas. <laughs> it's hilarious that I have started to actually genuinely get excited about the eyeball energy. Oh, there's a medal. There we go. Okay, so there's a point on the board. Ooh, there's our points. Paris. Yep. yep, okay. That's good. Oh, the Phantom, that's okay. a point. Okay, that's a point. All right, oh, taking advantage and... of some chase cards. Let's see, that's uh, actually a point there for the Zorark and... And the Glastrier. The Glastrier. So Probably we'll, gonna be, looks like a four point pack. That is a four point pack. All right, So well kind, kind of using all of the available methods to score, which to is very score. exciting. That's gonna put Brent at 10 points on the season, which is actually pretty good. That's enough to be in the top 20 at the moment. So. You're, you're looking good in that regard. I think it puts you out of contention for Big Steve because he has more points than that, but it could still lend you quality eighth place depending on how everyone else scores. That's very true. All right, so let's see. Next up we have Hannah, who is coming in her second pack of the season. Five points to her name so far. Hmm. Hannah's been playing Legends of Arceus with her three-year-old daughter who calls it her Pichu game. Oh, Yeah. I love that. That's pretty fun. I, I've tried to like, anytime I try and play Pokemon with my kids, they just, they just want to steal the controller from me and bike around. So that's fine too though. Eyeball energy, double. If only we, if only it had been the type advantage. Here we go. Can we get some big, oh, oh there's love a love disc. disc. All there right, oh, it's about time. We talked you up so big love disc and now, oh, the, oh, Parasect. the Parasect. Now, of course, Parasect is a channel favorite card, but it's not gonna get you any more than a single point, unfortunately. Now, weirdly, this Clefairy, another good budget deck card. There's a whole deck you can build just around Clefairy. Oh, that's really cool. It can, all it does is flood the field with eyeball energy. I love it, I love it. Which is pretty good. It's a pretty fun card too. Just a bunch of little yeah. Clefairies running around. So we got two points in there. That's gonna bring seven on the season for Hannah. And you get a Parasite card. So who's the real winner, you know? You. You. And You're the real winner and everyone else who's getting cards. Who came to play. That's right. Next up, our current last place contender, Josh. <laughs> Josh! With their single point. This is gonna be Josh's second pack. Yeah. Uh, so far of the season, obviously, given that they have one point, and one point. you can always score a They've single point. to score the minimum. There is no way to score zero points. Right. That we're aware of. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? I think we had discussed, oh, there's the Phantom, so that's okay. gonna be at okay. least okay. one. Okay, so there's at least- We had discussed if you get the V-Star marker, it could give you a negative point. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true. We haven't, but, we haven't introduced that We haven't that employed role. that yet, but should we, we? Oh, there we go. Oh, the type advantage from last place. So All at right. least two points yeah. on the pack. Yeah, because we, we know, know the that Phantoms. there's, yep, let's see here. So, so there's so. four points even. Yep, so there's your Phantom. There you go. Pseudo Wudo. Love, Love this, this. Wow. so that's four points on the pack. Uh, toolbox, toolbox and, and the Rhyperior. So that's gonna be a six point pack, I believe. Man, look wow. at that with the, the like rocketing from last place all the way up into at least the into upper the, 30s. Yeah, the, the lower 30s. The lower 30s is what I meant to say. Yeah. This is like when you turn the air conditioning up, does that mean 
Make it warmer or colder. Yeah, it could be either. It could be yeah, either. It could be either. The same for turning it down. I said I said upper thirties with like the scoreboard. It's like on the upper end of the thirties as yeah. we go down. Exactly. Yeah. It made sense to me. Okay. Oh, Ben, Ben. Crowd favorite, Cartavian. Cartavian. Cartavian's on the board with their seven points. So they're coming into the day with as many points as Josh just finished the season with. So, okay, okay. So there's that. So there's that. So refrit. Don't get too high on your horse there, Josh. <laughs> All right. Cartavian your, coming in. Just, Cartavian's. He's, I mean, it's a, uh-oh, I say that, oh, and then Cartavian, <laughs> boom, and no chance of the type advantage. That might get you negative points. It could be. But it, could. It, but it doesn't. But it um, doesn't. Can I do it? You got yeah. it. Oh, okay. look, there was still an energy. <laughs> ah, how about <laughs> That's that? That's so funny. All right. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything big? Oh, there's the Clefairy again. A Lickitung, the Squabbit, that's just normal. It looks shiny, but, oh, and the Basket Legion. That is going to be a solid um, single point for you. A solid single point so for Cartavian, you. So Cartavian, you know, you might have come in with as many points as Josh got, but now you only scored as one, many <laughs> as many points as Josh did last time. So the rivalry continues to grow. We'll keep an eye on you it's two. A, it's a tale as old as time. It's Cartavian a, versus Josh. Josh. All right. <laughs> Next up is Matt Cox coming into the season with 11 points. All right, Matt, let's see what we can do for you here with 11 points on the season. That is not, after two packs. Not a bad showing, not a bad showing. And don't forget, guys, that there are some chase cards inside of this box that could easily score you into the uh, hundreds. hundreds. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it's like, well, it's anyone's game. We've pulled some great cards, but at any point, if you still have a pack left, you could still easily you shoot it. still win the whole shebang. Although, no type advantage for this pack. Let's see what we got here. There's a stun fisk. That'll get us. Oh, it's one. Yep. Yeah. Was, yep. Okay. Making sure I got my rules right. Like the Finion, the Greedent, and, and the, oh, Parasect. the Parasect, another winner. Wow, oh, wow, man. wow, wow. That's going to be a two-point pack right there. Are you handing out some honorary J points? That Absolutely. Okay. I mean, okay. Excellent. Okay. If, you get, if you pull the Parasect, I mean, look, you can build a deck around Parasect, okay? Can and should. Can and should, you know. I've done it. It's a hilarious deck to play. People don't see it coming. Um, it does lose a lot, but when you win, it feels great. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is B. Graham, uh, last season champion, if I recall. I believe so. Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. So this season I was sitting at eight points. Eight points so far, but has progressively gone up from pack to pack. So started with a three point pack, gone up to a five point pack. Uh, and so coming into today, it'll be curious to see if, if there's not like a little bit more flexing going on by old Grimm. Nothing would shock me more than a back to back champion. It, we, I, know, I know, I know. Which it's means like, there's a lot of pressure on this pack. And there's a metal energy. Oh my goodness. Okay. okay. Be grim. Dare you? Dare to be great. Dare to be great. You know, you miss you, you miss hundred percent of the shots you don't take, right? Oh dear. Here goes no, grim. Oh, there's up. A, there goes that's two. There's the pseudo wudo, the amba palm, and Oh, the oh. Manectric. I was so prepared for it to be crazy. It is a mere four-point pack for our former <laughs> champion. If only, if only. That's going to bring you to 12 on the season. Who knows? Maybe a quality eighth place in your future. Maybe a big Steve. Time will tell. Next up is Omega. Coming in at nine points. All right, let's Omega. See, what do you got for Omega, let's, Ben? Let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> I just got back from Las Vegas where I went to a uh, an exhibit where there was a place called Omega Mart. Oh. It was the most unusual place I've ever been to in my entire life. So yeah, if you're it in Vegas, very interesting. Yes. Anyway, so we'll see what we can do for Omega today. I've got, I've got some, some good feels. Let's see. Here. Mm, the dark energy. The dark. The storm cloud. Wow. Okay, Haunter. I don't feel like I've seen that card pop up. Yeah, yet. I don't so either. Let's see. Down the rock, rock the, the seal. seal. The shop it. Mm -hmm. I'm a trap. A Pikachu. Clefable is, is a star. A so that's that a, is point. an extra point right and, there. And oh, <gasps> Ben, that is the. Alt Art Berserker V, and it is a steel type. Oh, but guys, guys, no joke. I'm pretty sure, I don't think it's the most valuable card, but I do think this is the actual hardest card to pull in the entire set. The odds right. are over one uh, over one in 2,000 packs. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, so this is, this is a, a commanding first place now for the Alt Full Art. 
Uh, number 184 on the set is worth $46.61. Rounded up to 47, plus it's a steel type, so it'll get you an extra point and the Clefable. Uh, so that's gonna be 47, 48 points. Wait, sorry, wait, let's do it again, let's make sure. Okay, well, we're gonna do it again we'll do to it make again. sure. So, 46, 61, we'll round up to 47, plus an additional point for being a steel type. Yeah, right? 48. 48. Plus the Clefable's 49. 49, I okay. did, it, I did okay. it wrong, I did it wrong. So 49, I'm gonna shorted you a point, although you have points it, to spare at it this does point. does not matter, you're in 58 points, Omega! Oh, Ben, Ben, are you aware how close B. Grimm came to pulling that pack? I, like, it like, is unbelievable! It there with that. It's so crazy! <laughs> That is an amazing card. We need like a sleeve to put it in now before we continue, I think. I am obsessed with it. Dude, okay. it's so cool. I'll get a sleeve. Yeah. BRB. BRB. Are you a little bit jealous? I am, I mean, I'm a little jealous, but also just like, I'm so happy for Omega. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's see here. We got a sleeve for you. Pack fresh. Bam. Probably the possibly the season winning card. Possibly the season winning card. This is this is now the best card that we will have pulled uh, all season. All season. Yeah, man, that is crazy. Impressive pull. Impressive pull, Omega. Be grim. Well, we're keeping an eye on you. You were so close. So close. So, so close. close. Striking oh my distance. Gosh, wow. All right, we'll put that over there. Nice and safe for you. All right, I feel like it's going to be really hard to top that, but uh, Stefan and Susie are going to try. They're coming in at two points. So I got to tell you, very uncommon to pull back to back alt art rare cards, but you never know. You never I'll know. see what I got for you. I'll see what I got for I, you. I, I think the, the mantra the embodiment of this channel is just never lose hope. Never lose hope. Never lose hope. You Anything's can. possible. Look, and I can already tell you, I can already see a, a common chase card on there, so you're gonna get at least two points out of this pack. You know, you're gonna double your score, minimum. Boom, oh. there's the water energy. And we've got the Lost Vacuum, the Gastrodon, the Phantom, as I said. The Bronzors is gonna score you a point. Oh, there's, oh, Ben, 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 Ben. Oh, yes. It's oh. the Full Art Parasect! Not just oh, J points, You never one. give up hope. You never give up hope and the, the boo a lot. All right, what is the Parasect worth? The Trader right, Gallery let's, Parasect. Let's see the Trader, uh, what, what should it be worth? Like, I mean, it's less... worth like a bazillion J points, but that is, <laughs> that's not gonna win you the game, but I love that card. <laughs> let's see here, it is TGO1, which is worth 88 cents. 88 cents? That Rounds is up nonsense! Up. Rounds up that is a crime. One whole point. So that's gonna be a four point pack for you there, uh, Stefan and Susie. Um, that's gonna be six points on the season. Uh, Stefan and Susie, they love CrossFit and Pokemon. So I wanna see you guys, you guys just go ahead and drop and each give me six burpees. Yeah! You know, one for each point you earned this season. I, I would love it if we ended up getting like tagged on Instagram or something and just like somebody being like, all right, you've asked for it, we got you. We got you. Six burpees. Six burpees. Coming up. Next up, Aerofell, who's coming into the season with two points. Two points. All right, Aerofell, let's see what we can do here. All right, so one, two, three. <gasps> oh, oh, so no chance for a type advantage. No chance for a type advantage. And we'll but, do the flip. There we go. Doesn't mean can't be a good pack. Napalm, Obama Snow, Gligar. This is a great way for me to finally learn the names of so many of the Pokemon that I didn't know before. The Clefairy, the, the Misfortune, Misfortune Sisters, Sisters, and the, the Landorus. So that's like, is the Misfortune? No, nope, it's just not. Moment. So it's just so, a single point wow. pack for Aerofell. It's unfortunate for Aerofell. They're coming in at three points there, but you know what? That's a solid uh, contention for last place. Something to keep an eye on. Something to aspire to, kids. Yes, of okay. course. All right, next up, oh, another crowd favorite, but it's John Borg. John Borg! John Borg! 10 points on the season so far for John yeah, Borg. Pretty solid. So not bad, a good, a good solid positioning. Great opportunity to strike for either the uh, quality eighth place position or the Big Steve Award, which again is the probably the most mobile of awards. Absolutely. Big Steve is of course a patron himself and has the ability to move throughout the pack. The Rosalia, the Rockruff, the CLD, oh, that is a rare, and the Cramorant. So the oh, Cramorant the is super good. This is one of those ones that might actually be a few extra points, even though it's not holographic in any way because it's just so competitive. Yes, yeah, so let's see. The Cramorant is a little bit more, but still only coming in at 95 cents. Oh, so close. At the moment. Um, and then of course, yeah, the Malamar will get you an extra point there. So it's gonna be two um, from the pack. Competitive card. 12, 12 on the season, yes, Cramorant. Extremely good. <clears throat> Spit innocently, you know? There you go. 
Is that the, the skill is spit innocently? Spit innocently. I love it. Yeah, that's what it does. It just shoots a fish at you. It's adorable. Unless you're being hit with a fish. Next up, Stacy! Stacy! This says, on a bad day, the Benjamin and Jonathan always made me feel better. Oh, oh well, thank you. I guess that's us, the Benjamin and Jonathan. I, I like I like the adding of the the. Makes yeah. me feel even more right uh, official. We are the the Benjamin and Jonathan. The the ones. Yeah. All right, and we got our leaf energy there. Our gloom again. I love that artwork. Tina Gastrodon. All right, Apom. Mm-hmm. Litwick. Roselia. Lady. Lady. And. Orbital! So, that's fun. I think that's gonna be just a single point, though, for that pack, which is unfortunate, because you do actually have a holographic card in there, but that is gonna land you at six points for the season, Stacy. Well done. Orbital coming your way. Next up, Ben, Moss Twig. Moss Twig! Am wow. I up? Are you I up? I think it's your up. Yeah. I'm up? Okay. I get lost in the, in the origin. There. Yeah, I get it. Like Lost Origin. The very name of the set we're opening packs for. Although this will be the last, um, the, uh, these next two episodes will be the last two episodes of this collection oh, before we switch true. over to a new collection, which is Silver called Tempest. Silver Tempest. Yes. You see what I did there? I was giving you a leading question so yeah, that you could tell me because I, I didn't know what I it was called. I could tell. You're like, I started a sentence and I don't know the oh name of the next set. Okay. Man, so much grass energy. So much so leaf, leaf energy. energy. I'm sorry. The wind up arm, Machoke. Mm -hmm. The Litwick. The oh, oh, there's, oh, there's a lot of this. A Phalanx, a Poliwag. Oh! oh Trainer Gallery, Roserade, and... Dugong. All right, let's look at that Roserade real quick. The Gardenia back there. All right, let's, let's see. So it's a got. minimum of three points, but possibly a few more with the Roserade there. Let's see what it does for you. That's going to be TGO2, which is worth 70 cents. Uh, so just the three points just on the, the pack. Just going to bring you to 10 pack. on the season. Well done, last week. All right, next up we have Jesse Utile, who is coming in with 20 points. So Jesse is well positioned. Uh, they don't have to go crazy big. Uh, it seems like a like a like a type advantage plus a, a nice rare card can catapult you up there. I, so what's the current lead? Is about 48 points. I can tell you right now. I already see something. You see something you see, silver. You see a little, we'll show through. them. Show them as yeah, well. Can so they can see? See, yeah. I don't There's know if like you can little... see. There's something silvery in there. Let's see. A little Let's edge see. peeking out. A little edge peeking out. It looks like a, a possible V-Star kind of action there, Jesse. Let's see. Boom. Oh, man, oh, I was going to be so excited. Man. If we could have had that it double, it would have put us in really good shape. It would have. Let's see where it lands us, though. We have the nuts. The Relicant. The Metatite. The Squavit. The Hariyama, which is just an uncommon. And... Oh! The Rainbow Magnezone V-Star. I mean, I'll tell you what. It might... I don't know how much that's going to be worth, but it looks... Awesome. It does. Uh, the rainbows are always so much fun to pull. So, one, so many. Number 198 on the set is going to bring us to $6.52. So a oh, seven man. point card. Seven point card. Boy. Oh, and you know what? Oh, for a second I thought it was going to be metal, but it's actually electric this time around. A lot of magna, a lot of magna zones are that metal typing, but that is still very exciting. I'm excited to see how that card looks uh, when we do our glamour shots. Yes. you know, like watching it like turn through. Yeah, we just got a new be... setup for the glamour shots. So, so they should be looking even more beautifuler than always. Indeed. Oh man, that's a cool, that's a cool pull. All right, next up is Peabody Coco coming in with five points on the season. Peabody Coco. I feel like we're due for a, like some more type advantage. I know it does. Have we, have we only had two so far? I think so. We've had two. So. They haven't been very impressive utilizations of it Utilizations. yet. Utilizations. However, the guys in the back have phoned <clears throat> in for the first time in today's episode, letting oh. me know that something could be on the horizon, as it were. Mm. So we'll not take in this pack though. Just on the horizon. Just uh, no, in this pack. Oh, in this pack. In the okay. You in know. this. You know, it's kind of hard to say with the guys in the back. They're, they're a little fickle sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. Riley, Riley the editor. The editor. Okay, yeah. great. Oddish. Growlithe, mm -hmm. Lickitung, Lickitung Slugma. Slugma. So, so far I've been wrong. Or the guys in the, the back have been back. wrong. The guys in the back, it's about you, okay, wait, Did I say me? I meant the guys in the back. Yeah. <laughs> As if they knew what they were talking about. Flourish! Oh. Well, it was a V card. It's okay. the enamorous V. Okay, all right. Well, we'll take we'll take a full art any day. At least yeah. the guys in the back weren't completely wrong. Making I've... me feel a little bit better about their positioning on things. I know. All right, number 82, let's see what it does for us. Is going to be 45 cents. Wow. What <clears throat> an Embarrassment enamorous, just like you as a Pokemon in general are. Is enamorous not well loved as enamorous, the name would suggest? As the name 
Uh, contrary to the name, enamorous, not enamored by the community. I'll tell you that. Myself included. I think it's super ugly. But <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean it's not a good card. Although it's also not competitive. Anyway, next up we have Emerald Phoenix. Emerald is is another one that's like on that like top ten leaderboard with nineteen points right now. Um, let's see here. Emerald is a is a school teacher and has a fun fact that says uh, had a student try to sell him Pokemon cards uh, for school currency. Oh well, I mean. You know, consider the cards. Emerald. What's the exchange you know, rate? I know. Right? Like, I mean, how, hey, how maybe, we maybe you can come out on top there. Boom! Oh man, so another electric, back to back electric. Maybe the guys in the back thought electric was the type of thing. Maybe, maybe that's, that's why the they problems. were like, they got confused. Cedra. Clefairy, the ape bomb, the Makuhita, and the Volo with his crazy hair there. Man, that is, uh, I feel like Volo is an underused. I feel like Volo is at, at some point going to be. Like, oh yeah, everyone's running this, but it's not yet. Not yet, not yet. That is gonna land <clears throat> Emerald two points on the pack and 21 points on the season. Pretty solid, that could be an eighth place finish right there. There is, it would be exciting if if we were in a world where 21 points got you an eighth place. Yeah, I mean, that seems pretty reasonable. It though. does seem pretty reasonable. Let's see, hold on. Screen fell. I mean, right now, eighth place is 15 points. Okay. So it seems pretty reasonable by the time we get through the whole thing that uh, enough could have shifted. Enough could have shifted. So there's a possibility there. Yeah. Speaking on the, the Pokemon at school currency thing, uh, I did a fun thing last night for Halloween, mm. and I found at the store they had three card Pokemon packs. Trick or trade. For, yeah, trick or trade yeah. that you could hand out. And the kids that came up, I was like, candy? or Pokemon cards, and it was overwhelming. Like, there were 40 of them in the pack that I bought, and the first 40 kids all took Pokemon oh, cards. Oh, of course, you like, have to. It's like you'd rather have cards than, than candy. Absolutely, that's way better. The candy, you're gonna eat it, enjoy it for 10 seconds, gone. Cards are forever. Pokemon, you're gonna open, enjoy it for like 20 seconds, and then you'll be like, this is not really that good. <laughs> 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 there are no ultra rare cards or anything in the trick or trade packs, but it is such a fun idea. Whoever came up with that, brilliant. Oh man. Next up we have 0 for 12. Yeah, when you showed me that you got those, I was like, maybe I'll have some left over. You can bring them into the office, so then we'll have some trick or trade cards. Some trick or trade. I know, I know. Yeah, they they went so fast. Yeah. It was amazingly cool. And like, it was so fun because I ran some across the street to my across the street neighbor, and I heard the kids saying like, "This house has Pokemon cards." Whoa. And it was like, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "Yes, um, you're that house, the cool house." Very cool. I, I managed to get two packs as like uh, little promos. I was I was playing at a tournament. Each round, they just sort of walk around and pass out like free random stuff, and so two times during the tournament they passed out the trick or trades nice. to the players, so I got some fun packs that way. But, oh, the general pumbling, <laughs> Ra raucous pumbling. I was gonna say, I feel like the name of this has changed. It's changed a lot. <laughs> Someone's gonna get the raucous pumbling energy. This is this pack has been disappointing all around thus far. BAM! Oh, oh wow. All the way through to all the end. All the way through to the end. Is you this know? card called Lake Acuity? Yeah. What, is is that, that, what does that even mean? Lake Acuity? That's where one of the um, three lake spirits lives. Okay, okay. Yeah. Lake Acuity. Yeah, does that mean something to you outside of Pokemon? Just the word Acuity just acuity. seems like, like it doesn't belong in a Pokemon trading card game. I mean, it's in the world of Pokemon. I don't remember which one lives there, but um, there they are. All right, next up is Afion. Oh, Afion. 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 He's coming into the episode with four points on the day. This is going to be their second pack on the season. All right, Afion. Let's see what we can do for you so, here. Less bites at the apple, but who's to say? Doesn't mean you can't pull something absolutely outrageous. I like to think of the people who have uh, fewer packs are like the rookies. Yeah. You know, so we got to have like a like a rookie of the year. Right. You know. All right. So there's going to be our. Raucous, <laughs> a raucous pummeling. Raucous pummeling energy. Polyworld. Licky Licky. Licky Licky. The, because Lickitung needed an evolution. Uh, and the Pokemon the, Company provided. There we go. There we go. Snover, Machop. It is such a Pikachu. bummer that fighting wasn't the, the type I know. Advantage. There would have been so much going on. All right. Shellos and oh, Polyrath. Again, so that's going to be another. We are, we are in a bit of a. So the, here we the rough section of the box. So all we needed was a polywag, and we could have had you like all the way. Oh yeah, the full, the Although, full evolution. Line. Can you evolve a water type into a fighting type? Is that so, a thing? So Poliwhirl has branched evolution. You can evolve into Poliwrath or Politoed. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so branched evolution. Exactly. That's what I was gonna say too. I know. Yeah. 
It's a so, phenomenon. That's a word I know. Yep. Right, take that raucous pummeling energy. Actually, and, Riley and the editor away. has a <clears throat> shiny blossom in his short sword and shield to play through. It's another example of branched evolution. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Yes, gloom can go into blossom or vile plume. I'm learning a whole bunch today about <clears throat> branched evolution. Next up is Dakota. Dakota. One of our longest patrons here on Super Carlin Gaming. Big shout out to Dakota, who we play Rocket League with every month because of their uh, patron level tier. Yes. Here on the channel. Yes. If you didn't know, if you want to play games with me and Ben, there is a tier on our Patreon page where you can sign up and do that and we'll play with you once a month for an hour and you can play with us in Dakota. It's a lot of fun. Also, we are not good. We are bad at Rocket League, but yeah. that makes it more fun in some ways. So I if you're so. good at it, you can come totally beat up on us. <laughs> Lots of, oh, missed it. Yeah. Oh, almost that. It. That's the name. If you've never played Rocket League, that's the name of the game. Oh, I almost had it. Almost had it. Fire! That game is fire. All right, here we go. Can Dakota score something big? I see something peeking out back there, Ben. Do you I feel see like Dakota it? Dakota is due. I feel like Dakota is due. Dakota is due. There's the polyvagal. There's, polyvag there's the Oddish. Yep, and there's a Manectric. So that is one extra. And the Delphox. Bam. So it's All a Delphox right. V. Um, it's looking like a low level V card. It is, and yeah. The, yeah, coming in at 52 cents 52 for Adele cents. Fox V. Oh, no. That's going to be just two points on the pack. Seven total on the season for Dakota, but that's okay. We'll see you on the pitch. There we go. Yeah, that's right. There we go. Headed your way, Dakota. Next up, Josh. Wait, is this a different Josh? Different Josh. So different Josh, now, okay. Now, Ben, last Josh had but a single point. This Josh is a rookie, so they're coming in with zero points. Zero points. Zero points. Take that, other Josh. Ha. Think you have the least points? That's not what this Josh says. <laughs> look, look again. Look again. <laughs> Boy, between Cardavian and other Josh, Josh is having a real rough day. I know. I Everyone's said... beating up on him. Oh, man. All right. So one, two, three, four. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Fire. Fire. So still no type advantage. Oh, the Seedra. Seedra. There, there we go. go. I don't think we've something. pulled one of those today. Yeah. Rhydon, Roserade, Snover, Jinx, Inke, mm. Squovit, Phalanx, Cascoon, and... The Cramorant! Which, as we know, is close to being an extra point, but is in fact not, <laughs> meaning that Josh is going to come in with two points for the season. There we go. Yeah. Not Josh is also a professional IT nerd. Hey, how yeah, about that? That's pretty yeah, good. You'll love to see it. Can you install and my printer? Possibly a contender now for last place. Yeah, possibly. Maybe that's like the, that's, that's where the Joshes are going for, man. Anyway, next up we have Abby Monden, our in start of day leader. A yeah, Abby has been doing really, really great this season so far. Got yeah. 18 points on her first pack. Did absolutely amazing. Six points on the last pack, up to 24 total. Excited to see what Abby pulls because while everything is random all the time and we've got like the randomly chosen common chase cards and the Wheel of Energy, it's like, it feels like those who perform well continue to perform well. I mean, so, look how close B. Grimm was I, man, to pulling the Berserker. So close. So close. Had we switched to the order in which we pull like packs, that would have been you. That would have been it. You're going to sleep with that tonight, B. Grimm. B. B. Grimm's like, guys, guys stop, stop it. it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is why they're so grim. I'm uh, all energy. I'm all energy. All right, here we go. The Hariyama, the Arc Phone. Oddish, Growlithe, Seedot, Slugma, Tynamo. The Glass Core is a rare. And the oh, Porygon Z. So two oh. points on the pack. So I want to say that still leaves Abby in second place overall. Overall, at the moment, 26 points, I believe, will be second place. Uh, but possible striking distance from Lauren Engberg, who is currently in, who came into the day in second place with 22 points. Right. And then there's also Kimberly Lee, uh, who has 21 points on the season. So there, there's like this like tight bunch of, of folk right there at the bottom yeah. of the 20s that could all sort of mishmash around a little bit. All right, but next up we got Big Squad coming today with 11 points. All right. I'm not, it's not surprised that Beck Squad is a patron here because they have many hobbies. They like soccer, running, playing games, and of course, collecting Pokemon cards. And of course, <clears throat> we've come to the right place. We've come to the right place indeed. Okay, so we'll put that aside. So but one, can you two, strike? Three, four. And I'm flip! Not... Oh, yes! Yes, just oh, a little bit. Wow! Just just okay, so bit. yeah, we yeah. have the type advantage. Got it's in play. Advantage. Okay, so let's see what else we can do here. Maybe something. If only Shellos had been one. We've gotten a bunch oh, of those today. And the Ducklet, the Rock Rough, the Seal. Se oh! oh! The character already turned it as V! Didn't we get that last time, too? Oh, I, I think we did. With yeah, Rose. we may have. Yeah. We may have. Yeah. This time it's multiplied by two, and we could have something else on the back there. Oh, oh the, the Okay, okay so. so let's double check the... 
Um, they turned it as V there in the track. Yeah. yeah, TG21. TG21. Let's see, let's see what that does for us as we go over to the scorecard. $5.28 rounds up to six. Plus um, one for the Buffalo line to seven, seven. times two is going to be 14 points. Whoa. That's pretty solid. That's going to bring you up to actually to 25 points. So uh, that would have put you in first place. If, well, that's actually, I guess it's going to put you in second place at the third place at the moment. <laughs> I'm just doing the math. Was, Everyone's there. I'm like, had we started, had you gotten these points in the beginning, you'd have gotten to first place. You would have temporarily what? held first place. Very impressive. Congratulations on the card. That's such a cool card. The Eternatus. Oh, man. Very good. Love it. All right, next up is Andy. This is a, a brand new patron. Hey, there we go. So rookie. This is their first pack. Can we have Rookie of the Day? Rookie of the Day. Here we go. Boy, that was pretty fun seeing um, the type advantage come in on a V card. It was very cool, it was very cool. Oh! oh wow, rookie rookie coming out big, coming out swinging here. Let's coming see what swinging. we got. The Nuzly, the Binacle. Oh, there's the Bronzor, so that's gonna be something. The Jinx and the Stone Journer. Oh. So sadly, just gonna be a four point pack. Two for, one point for each of those cards times two is gonna get you to four. And that's going to be your uh, season total, since this is the last episode this season. Debut. Well, <laughs> last episode for this group. We will have another episode for uh, Wave 2. Oh, it is. Andy also apparently participates in duck pin bowling tournaments. How so about that? What is duck pin bowling? Like, are, are the pins know? ducks? Are the pins ducks? Are do those ducks go in cups? Oh, they have, they have to. They must. It's an in fact. You'd think so. Next up is Chrisara. 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 This is also another brand new patron on uh, the season. So this is their first pack. You'll far. love to see it. It's been very exciting to watch the to watch this show grow. We're glad that you guys are enjoying <coughs> it so much. Uh, and like we said, there are still plenty of spots available. If you would like to sign up and have us open a pack for you, it's patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Boom. Make sure I do my, my counting right. And with the flip, eyeball energy. Eyeball energy. One of my all time favorites. I know, I know. Let's see here. Let's the panic up. mask, the ghastly, the ducklet. Ducklet? Yeah. Not duck it. Oop, bronzer. That's bronzer. a point. That's a point. There we go. Someone's paying attention, and ba -bam, the Snorlax. Snorlax! Unfazed Fat. Actually, pretty competitive card. That's awesome! Yeah, it is. It's really good because of the Sableye in this set. Just drops damage counters on stuff, which counts as an effect. Unfazed Fat stops effects from hitting it, so it can just uh, sponge all that damage. And uh, 180, pretty easy to pull off with Mirage Gate. So it's been going in a lot of Giratina decks at the moment. What do we have here? Two points on that pack, though? Two points on that pack. Two points on the pack, two points on the season for Krasara, but you get a cool Snorlax out of it. Ba boom All right, next up we have Tyler Siegel, who's coming in at six points after opening two packs. So they haven't had a big break yet. But Maybe this is their day. It's, they're due. They're due. <clears throat> they're due. You know? I'm gonna make it. Tyler's been watching SCB since the, the Pixar theory. Oh, that's a long time to be watching this. I'm sorry we, about that. We, <laughs> we appreciate you tuning in for so, so long. Sadly, oh, we have the V-Star counter. That's complete garbage. Um, but, let's see. That doesn't mean you can't have a good one. Chorus's experiment. A really, really good supporter card right there. Let's see. Toolbox. Jinx. Makuhita. There's a point on the Bronzor. There you go. And... Oh! Art Fantina. We were were we right or were we right? Tyler Siegel with the full art Fantina. This is actually real good at those Gudra decks. Um, <laughs> That's a cool card too. It is really cool. Let's see, number one ninety one. <clears throat> if you're able to play the card, which is hard to do, you can uh, prevent one hundred and twenty damage from being taken to you next turn. So if you're imagining, you get that Gudra attack going, stops eighty damage. Play Fantina, stops one hundred and twenty. You're basically untouchable for a turn. And you can heal yourself. Uh, all uh, yes, it's very yeah, good. Precisely, exactly. You all get it. And other news and things that I can discuss. <clears throat> yes, sufficiently mm. are the 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 point totals, which yes. is going to be seven dollars and thirty three cents for this card. Wow, rounds up to eight plus an additional point for the bronze or uh, so a nine point uh, pack, fifteen points on the season. Very solid positioning for um, the the Big Steve Award there at this go. point. Big Steve has got. Uh, 10 points on the season. You want to be the person right in front of Big Steve. Right in front of Big Steve. Of course, you never know. Steve, he likes, he likes to pull, play tricky. He likes to pull tricks at the end. He might come out guns blazing with something wild. 
But I don't even know if he's going to be in this episode. We just have the, they hand us the stack of cards. We'll see. I know. It's all randomly chosen. <clears throat> Next up is Megan, who's coming in with seven points. This is her third pack on the season. All right, Megan. Been collecting Pokemon cards for 18 years and has never opened a single Charizard. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> there is Charizard in this pack, though, I believe, so, right? So, so maybe today's the day. There's hope. That there's could hope. be it. One, two, three, four, to the back. And the flip. Boom. There's the water energy. Droplet energy. Droplet. Okay. Well, the Our names are so much better. I know. I know. I know. I don't <clears> know why <throat> they didn't consult us. Let's see. Shuffle it. Lost vacuum. And. Oh, Mimic you. Today oh. is not your day for the Charizard. Sadly, it is but a single extra point. Bring your total to eight for the season. But you know what? I like to think that people have really decided that they're like. They're like putting good thoughts and energy in for Megan yeah. on that opportunity to pull a Charizard. Like I feel like it's, it's going possible. to happen here on the show. <clears throat> They're gonna keep printing Charizards too. They just released that like big premium collection Charizard box. Yeah. Yeah, we got it's, one. It was pretty cool. Beautiful Charizard. Really cards. cool yes. stuff in there. All right, next up is Alyssa, who's coming into their third box or third pack of the season with five points. So you gotta feel like Tyler Siegel, they are really, they're due for something. Due for a pull, due for a pull. Due for a pull of some kind. But we'll see. Maybe today's that day, maybe we, it's We've not. seen some big cards already thrown down in I this I know, episode, we are getting so. down to like the final couple of packs here. Boom, droplet energy, as it should be called. Lake Acuity, Ben's favorite card. Yeah. You get 100 Ben points for that, I think. Maybe you lose 100 Maybe Ben points for that. Oh, ben. oh, the oh! Radiant Sneasler! That's pretty cool. That is cool. Oh man, very fun. And the Gudra. This is not the Gudra we've been talking about the whole episode. It's the other Gudra. I want to double check our Sneasler <coughs> there, which is yeah. going to be number 123 on the set. And it's going to be 50 cents. Oh, that is a bummer. Uh, that's going to be a two point pack though. Either way, you get some cool cards, even if your points don't reflect it. You can play a Suey and Sneasler with Parasect as well. Plus, you can win back those Ben points at any time. At any point. Oh. Don't worry about it. Let's take a one card off there. Boom, here we go. And our final pack of the day, it's Afropunk. He's coming in with 15 points. Okay, Afropunk. Let's see what I can do for you. It's never too late. It's never too late. It's never too late. We haven't seen like late. a gold card this episode, you know? Who's to say there could be one? No, oh, no type advantage though. You got the terrible V-Star mar marker. Okay, okay. <clears throat> it's funny how like we pull so few type advantages, but when we see the V-Star, it's like, oh, it's really over now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Too it changes bad. the mood of the pack by so much. <clears throat> Silcoon, Lady, Lampant, Horsey, Meditite? Meditite. Nice. Yeah. Shellos, Mind Fu? Yeah, Mind Fu. You got it, dude. You could play this game. Radiant Steelix! Radiant Steelix, there Which we is go. also part of the type advantage, so it's worth at least one extra point. There we go. And, and then the Hoopa. Hoopa. So possibly three. Let's double check that Radiant Steelix just to yeah. make sure. I think we have pulled one of these on the season so far. We have. Let's see, 124 is worth 67 cents. Mm. So, so. Uh, three points on the pack to close out the day. And how many points does that put them at? That puts them at 18 points on the season for Afropunk. Could be a quality eighth place kind of positioning, possibly a big Steve kind of positioning. So man, what a box. We had several Radiant cards. We had an alt art. We had a rainbow. We had a VMAX. I know, I know. I We're mean, pulling all sorts stuff. of stuff left, right, and center. It was Pull very exciting. Today. I know, it felt, it felt good. It was cool to see. Um, what was our all our um, the alt Berserker? Art, Berserker, yeah. yeah, that was a that, that was, was a cool pull. It was fun just being in the room with it. Yes, yes. Uh, so definitely on the lookout for some other really big stuff in our in our final episode, which is gonna be the next episode of this season before we start into uh, our third season of the show, which is going to be featuring the new box, which is going to be called Silver Tempest. So if you want to uh, make sure you sign up before. Uh, the end of the month to get uh, in on the Silver Tempest cards, yes. right? Yes, absolutely. And okay. to have, yeah. Yes, you are absolutely correct. So if you sign <laughs> up in the month of November, you will be getting your packs opened in the month of December. Uh, and if you are a patron for all three months of the, uh, uh, the next three months, then you will get three packs to contribute towards your point totals, yes. which does give you the best opportunity to score points. Again, if you'd like to sign up, it's the Box Breakers tier over at patreon.com slash Gaming. Otherwise, until next time, bye!